you know, as if five of these movies weren't enough. If four to five of these movies weren't enough. Four to five of these movies weren't enough. The director of this, of these movie adaptions of this, for some odd reason, successful teenage romantic drama novel has decided that he's going to take his two last adapted movies of said franchise and edit them together into what? He's going to edit them together into one. And thus, present to us a four-hour movie. And believe it or not, none of us want to sit down in a theater. None of us want to sit down at home and watch. Because quite honestly, a lot of us nowadays really don't give a damn about this movie franchise or this novel franchise or whatever the frick you want to call it. Hold on, and I'll explain what I'm talking about. You'll probably see the title down there anyway. Believe me, nobody wants to see this. make some noise because what I'm about to tell you in case you haven't seen if you don't see the title below if you haven't heard according to moviepilot.com they recently reported and you can find this at the website that the director of all the Twilight films that are based on the Twilight graphic novel the Twilight novel franchise the director has come out and announced that he is going to edit together, splice together, if you will, edit, splice, whatever the freak you want to call it, he's going to put together both Breaking Dawn 1 and 2 into just Breaking Dawn. In other words, he's going to do, essentially, something that, quite honestly, should have been done in the first place and save us all the trouble. He's going to piece them together into one movie equaling out to about four hours. Yeah, four hours. Think about it, folks. Think about this. You're sitting in the theater. Think about this. Let's say you want to spend that $12 to go see this now four-hour edition of the Twilight franchise. Let's say you want to spend that four, that $12, if you will. Say you want to spend that twelve dollars, right? You say you want to spend that twelve dollars, and let's say the movie starts at exactly around eight o'clock, or maybe even seven. You know what time you'd be out of that show after sitting on your butt for nearly four hours, almost, if not a little after eleven o'clock. All because you decided to go spend money to see a movie or movies that you've already seen before as what? Let's 
bad enough we'll get into Twilight 6. From what I've heard. But still, this has got to be the dumbest, stupidest decision ever made. I mean, I can understand if animation or live action studios, and especially the video distributors, decide to splice and edit together all the episodes of a miniseries that they just recently put out. They recently was put out on the air, and now they want to release it or air it as a movie. I can understand that, because it gives you that motion picture feel. I did it with the final four episodes of Sonic Saturday M. From Cry of the Wolf to Druidhead, Spyhawk, and then the Doomsday Project itself. I edited them all together as one movie, with the only titles card being Doomsday Project. That was it. And that equals to about 80 minutes. Um, 80 minute movie. That's it. I can understand sitting in the theaters and watching a movie that's intended to be as long as it is. I can imagine, because I've done it before, sitting down and watching a movie like Titanic, which ran for about 193 minutes. Three hours, 13 minutes, I sat in that theater. I watched it. I enjoyed it. For two, hour, two and a half hours almost, or near two and a half hours, I sat in the theaters and watched Batman Begins. So I know, so I've had my share of sitting in movies that kind of run for quite some time. They kind of run at a long time, but guess what? They, they at least are, but guess what? They are at least originally intended to run at that time. They're not intended to be a two-part movie deal that all of a sudden you want to piece them together into one movie. They're not. If anything, if anything, this to me it's going to be the dumbest decision ever. I mean, Warner Brothers, at the end of last year, in the beginning of this year, brought out Dark Knight Returns 1 and 2. They could have easily edited those two movies together into one, and you could have had near a two, basically a near three-hour movie. Three-hour animated movie. But they didn't. Because they knew people would not sit through a three-hour animated Batman movie that's as dark and as violent as that one is. The point being, the point I'm trying to make here, folks, is it doesn't make sense for this guy to do this. True. Now, I admit, true. There are some die-hard Twilight fans that will spend the money if he decides, hey, I'm going to release... This is now four edited, four hour edited version of Breaking Dawn in theaters. I can understand spend those die hard, hardcore Twilight fans spending that $12 to do that. But guess what? It's not going to matter because it, even if he decides he wants to re release both films as one film in the, as, a, as one four hour film into theaters. It's not going to succeed at the box office. No one's going to want to sit through near four hours of a movie or two movies they've already seen separately as one. Now as one. They're not going to want to do that. Not going to want to do that, folks. I guarantee you. So to me, his best choice is direct to video.
Once he gets it all completed, edited, whatever, the guy's best choice is direct to video, not theatrical, because theatrical is going to be a killer. And I don't mean that in a positive way. I mean that is, it's not going to draw the money he's hoping. But I thought I'd pass that along to you guys. For those of you that may find the Twilight franchise interesting, for some of you that may hate it, for some of you that may have mixed reactions about it, to me, I don't really care about it that much. But I can say this. If he was going to do a four-hour Breaking Dawn, he should have done it in the first place and not separated the film. That's how I look at it. So, let me know what you guys' thoughts are on that. I will provide the link down below. But let me know what you guys think about the possibility, about this decision to, the director has made to do a four-hour edited ver to re release to make and release a four-hour edited version, uncut, if you will, of Breaking Dawn, both movies in one. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Talk to you all later. God bless and take care.